there's been a, a real growth in tooling projects that have uh, started up around FTC3 to help support development. Um, one of those projects I'm going to demo now, and that is the um, Chrome extension project that uh, basically allows you to run the FTC3 APIs in Chrome, which is what I'm gonna cut over to. This is an open source project that uh, currently is just in my uh, GitHub account, um, but you can see it there and uh, get it and play around with it. So, one of the first things that this uh, Chrome extension does, and you can see that it's running because you get this um, icon in Chrome that shows that you have the FTC3 agent running, is that it injects the uh, FTC3 API into your Chrome tabs. So if I inspect, I can see that I have access to the FTC3 API as a global. And I can do things like, let's say, I want to call the find intent API for the view chart intent. Um, this is now going to execute a search against my app directory and return a promise, which will resolve with both the details about the intent as well as a list of applications that uh, handle that intent. Um, I can also do things like uh, get system channels and see all the uh, standard channels or the color channels that um, this particular desktop agent supports. Um, I could then use that to um, uh, subscribe to a channel or to broadcast on the channel as well. Um, and I can do things like join a channel. So this is kind of interesting if you look at this icon up here, when I joined the red channel, it's now showing me a badge, a red badge showing that I'm now on the red channel. Um, and I can broadcast a context onto that channel. So if I just call FTC3 broadcast, it's now gonna broadcast that onto the red channel. So I can, um, see that by if I open my UI here, I can now search against my app directory and I can open up the channel manager, which is an app that is just a, a uh, demonstration app that has been made available through this app directory. Um, and now I can see all of my system channels and I can see that the um, Red channel has the context I broadcast onto it. Uh, this also supports other uh, actions I can use with an FTC3. So, for example, I can now find the intents and apps that are available for this particular context. So, if I want to, um, let's say I want to view a chart and I can select the trading view chart. And I now have uh, this chart loaded with the context that was provided there, IBM. What's also interesting is that I can now um, put this chart onto the red channel. And if I change the context, it's now gonna reflect that here. You can see that now the red channel context in my channel manager has been updated. I want to copy that, let's say, just for argument's sake, and broadcast that over the orange channel. And now if I change this, the red channel here is changed to Apple. And if I change now my chart to the orange channel, which has IB Microsoft, I will now pick up that context to my chart. Um, one other, feature that you can see here of channels is the creation of uh, application channels. So if I create a new channel here, let's call it foo, this is called an application channel. So this is not, these are provided by the system, the color ones, but the, this is a custom channel that just my application has created, but other applications can also 
listen to it or participate in it. So now my second channel manager is also um, connected to Foo. And now if I update Foo and broadcast that, my uh, first application gets that update and I could you know, keep doing that broadcasting back and forth. So you can see that the application for this kind of, these kinds of channel APIs is pretty broad and there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, I'm just gonna cut over to a bit of a more financially specific demonstration of, of some of these features. Um, on the left, you should see a grid that is actually coming from AG Grid uh, showing uh, the S&P 500 on the right, you can see FactSet who has implemented FTC3 uh, and a FactSet chart. So this grid is gonna let me do a number of different things with FTC3, um, not just broadcasting context, but also raising intents um, and discovering intents. So first let's try raising an intent. So right now I'm gonna raise an intent for 3M called view chart. And what's going to happen is that I've just said, hey, I'm interested in this, uh, uh, in seeing a chart for this context. And I will um, get this rate rise, raises up to my FTC3 um, agent, which will then look at both the app directory as well as applications that are connected to it live and see which ones can support the view chart intent. In this case, this is actually my application instance on the right here, my facts chart, my fax set chart, my right, your left. Um, and so if I uh, choose this one, it's going to send the new context of 3M over to that chart that's now showing IBM. Uh, and I can also, <coughs> excuse me, for example, use this other feature to find uh, intents for this context, which was something we saw before. Um, and in this case, I want to look at a fact set price quote for 3M. And you can see that that works quite nicely. Now, these are not currently on the same channel so I've, because I've just directed an intent directly at them. So what I can also do is I could put these all onto the same channel. Let's say I'm going to put them onto the green channel. And now, as I click through my list here, these fact set apps are going to update. So I just moved to Accenture, and we can see that these have all updated with that context. And you can see how this becomes a very powerful um, way of, of rapidly building uh, really uh, robust workflows uh, between applications. Um, and so this is one of the reasons we are super, super excited about FTC 311 and what it's going to, uh, do in terms of driving the momentum forward around things like FTC 3 and interoperability. So.